Video conferencing has been around for a long time, but in Nepal, this established technology provides crucial support for the medical profession and its doctors with real-time communications. I am the chief of surgery in Kathmandu Model Hospital, and uh, I am also the director of academic affairs and uh, telemedicine. What we were trying to do is to make health service available to less fortunate section of the people in the country. We started with uh, real-time video conferencing. Our friend Mahabir Poon, he's trying his best to cover the whole country with a blanket of this you know, wireless networking. And wherever he reaches, we carry our bag of e-health, of which telemedicine is an important component. In the beginning, we were very much concerned about the technological aspect of this connection, good quality of signals or not, uh, you know, how much of bandwidth uh, they can use or they can save, you know. I found that very few people are talking about other non-technical, really important human aspects. In the past, in remote areas, it was difficult for us to uh, retain a doctor even for three months. Now they have been working there for years. So they can continue their study. They are in touch with the center. So their growth is not uh, stopped anywhere. And uh, they have a feeling that they are not abandoned and they are just, you know, at another room.